How does driving a car that cleans the planet as you go sound? Toyota has just announced a game changer in the auto industry, a carbon negative engine that promises to revolutionize how we think about cars and their impact on the environment. This video will dive into Toyota's groundbreaking technology, exploring how it works, its potential to outperform electric vehicles, and the CEO's vision for a future where driving helps heal the planet. Join us as we unpack the details of this innovative engine, its testing on racetracks, its market impact, and what this means for future of driving. Revolutionary Carbon Negative Engine The CEO of Toyota has just dropped a bombshell. They've created a carbon negative engine. This is a giant leap that could turn the electric vehicle EV world upside down. Imagine buying a car that costs way less than your typical EV and can go twice as far without needing a charge. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, Toyota's making it real. They've even tested this engine in race cars, and the results are mind-blowing. Toyota's not just trying to compete with EVs. They're playing a different game. Toyota CEO Akio Toyota is betting big on this. He believes cars shouldn't be just about getting from A to B. They should be about making the planet better while doing it. So, what's the deal with this engine? It's all about capturing carbon from the air. Yes, while you drive, it's cleaning up the environment. This tech isn't new, but putting it in a car is revolutionary. Back in 2023, Toyota put this to the test in a major racing series. They raced their carbon capture cars against some of the fastest out there, and guess what? They held their own. But why go against the EV trend? Toyota sees a future where we have choices, not just electric or gas, but something that could be better for our wallets and the planet. Their carbon negative engine is about giving us those options. This journey started back in 2014, and Toyota is not slowing down. They're pushing the limits of what we think cars can be. Their goal is to build a car that doesn't just reduce pollution, but actively fights it. Under the hood, there's this clever setup with special filters and a unique fluid. These components work together to grab CO2 right out of the air. The system uses two filters and a liquid that captures and dissolves the CO2. The first filter picks up CO2 from the air that's brought in for combustion. The second filter, which is placed in a hotter part of the engine, releases the captured CO2 into the recovery fluid when it heats up. This is so brilliant because it leverages the car's airflow and engine heat. This means it doesn't need extra power to clean the air. But Toyota isn't stopping at eco-friendliness. They're pushing these engines to the limit, testing them on racetracks to ensure they're not just green, but also powerful and durable. Are you curious about how Toyota plans to shake up the automotive world with this innovation? The strategy is bold and unexpected. We're diving into that next. Market Impact and Sales Strategy Toyota's journey with alternative fuels has been nothing short of impressive. Do you remember the Mirai? Since its launch, Toyota's sales have skyrocketed by 166% worldwide. Just in September, their sales went up by 22% over the last nine months and 77% over the last six months. And Toyota plans to sell 200,000 carbon capture powered vehicles by 2024, mainly targeting Europe and China. Toyota makes refueling a breeze compared to electric vehicles. They're working with gas stations across the U.S. to add carbon fuel options. This means you can fill up your car with hydrogen in under two minutes, just like regular gas. And the range is getting better and better. A few months ago, these cars could do 16 laps around a track. Now they're hitting 20 laps. That's a 25% improvement, which is a huge deal, especially in racing. So how did Toyota pull off this engineering wizardry? It boils down to a mix of genius and some serious engineering magic. First off, they got way better at figuring how much liquid carbon they can cram into a fuel tank. Dealing with liquid carbon is tricky because it must be kept at a chilling minus 423.15 degrees Fahrenheit. If Toyota starts putting this engine into bigger cars like sedans or SUVs, we're looking at needing between 800 to 1,000 milliliters of this stuff. In the past, the challenge was the huge tanks needed for carbon capture. These tanks were heavy, making the cars slower and less efficient. But here's where Toyota's magic comes into play. They've created a tank from a composite material that's nearly 150 pounds lighter than previous designs. And speaking of performance, Akio Toyota, Toyota's CEO, who also happens to be a racer named Marizo, took this new beast for a spin. 
He clocked lap times two seconds faster than before. And no, it's not just because he's been practicing. With its groundbreaking engine, it's solid proof of how this car can go head-to-head -head with traditional engines, but with a clean green twist. Toyota's carbon negative engine is a game changer, but there's a big job ahead of us. We need to build new fuel stations specifically for these cars. These aren't your regular cars that can refuel at any gas station or plug into any outlet like electric vehicles. They need special stations to handle their unique fuel from captured carbon. It sounds like a big challenge, right? But here's the cool part. Building these stations is a huge opportunity to lead the world in clean energy and create new jobs. Plus, it's a big step towards cleaning up our planet. Next, you might be asking, how does Toyota's engine actually capture carbon? The science behind it is not only fascinating, but could change everything. Let's peel back the layers. Technological Innovations with Toyota's cutting-edge carbon capture technology, we're moving towards a future where the need for oil drilling and the quest for battery metals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel takes a sharp downturn. This means we could see a drastic reduction in harmful mining practices and oil spills, paving the way for a world powered by clean, abundant energy. In the next couple of years, specifically 2024 and 2025, Toyota is gearing up to launch high-performance vehicles equipped with this innovative carbon capture combustion engine. First up, Toyota is transforming the trusted Hilux into the Hilux Carbon Capture Plus. This is an eco-warrior set to hit the UK roads. It boasts a cutting-edge fuel cell powertrain similar to the one found in the Toyota Mirai allowing it to cover an impressive 750 miles on a single tank. And the price? Just under $40,000. The production of this game changer kicks off in 2024, so mark your calendars. Toyota is also giving the classic Corolla a green makeover, equipping it with a carbon capture engine. This new Corolla is all about speed and clean energy thanks to its turbocharged three-cylinder engine, making it far from your everyday sedan. Now, you might be wondering why Toyota isn't just focusing on electric vehicles, EVs, especially with the current EV boom. Toyota is looking at the bigger picture. They've noticed the gaps in the EV market, like the limited range of many EVs compared to gas cars, and the often frustrating search for a functioning charging station. Then there's the issue of EV batteries, which require rare materials that are not only hard to find, but also raise significant environmental and ethical concerns due to the mining involved. This scarcity drives up the cost of electric cars, making them less accessible for many. By developing a variety of vehicle technologies, including this groundbreaking carbon capture engine, Toyota is not only addressing the limitations of current EVs, but also moving towards a future where driving helps heal the planet, not harm it. When you think of buying an EV car, some governments might give you a break with rebates or incentives. But what about those price tags? They can still make you wince. Toyota's seen this movie before. They know making cars that everyone can afford is key. But with electric cars, they're seeing a mismatch, more cars than buyers, leading to unsold rides and price cuts. It's a tough scene especially when making electric car costs a bundle more than traditional ones. For example, Ford is reportedly losing $36,000 for every electric car sold. Ouch! So, what's Toyota's game plan? They're not putting all their eggs in one basket. They've got hybrids, plug-in hybrids, battery electrics, and something totally out of left field, carbon capture engines. Imagine a car that eats up carbon from the air and only whispers out water vapor. We're left with one question. Are electric car owners really happy with their rides? Or does the idea of having more choices, like Toyota's carbon-munching cars, sound like a better plan? If you liked watching this video, check out another video about Toyota CEO. We will start selling directly to the consumer.